Hi everyone, this is Nathan from theebookreader.com. For this video, I'm going to show you the new update for the Nook Color. They just issued this today. It's uh, version 1.2. It adds um, Android 2.2 to the Nook Color and it adds some other features. Um, so the Extras menu has been uh, replaced with apps. So as you can see, you can download apps to the Nook now. They've got this new app store that they just launched. There's really not a whole lot of apps on it right now. I'm not going to give them too much of a hassle about it. I mean, they just launched this today. But yeah, so far looking at it, there's not a whole lot of selection, and some of the stuff seems kind of expensive. Um, I mean, like a calculator is 99 cents. Usually you get that free with Android stuff. Um, Angry Birds is three bucks. Usually it's a dollar. So a couple of things are a little odd with it, but I'm not going to give them too much of a hard time right now, just because, like I said, it just launched today. So I imagine a lot of stuff will change here shortly. So as you can see, you got different layouts right there for uh, viewing the apps. And you pop them up here, you get the custom reviews, screenshots if they're available. Um, another app, this one is an easy PDF reader. You probably want to pick this up if you're going to get apps or going to use PDFs. I have this on other Android devices and it's actually pretty good. It's a heck of a lot better than the Nook's PDF features, that's for sure. Um, so that's just a couple of things here with the app, new App Store. How it is situated is it's actually in the Barnes & Noble store where you go to shop for ebooks it's over here in the new section they got a new section here for apps you also got Nook App Spotlight so then you hit that section and it's got a whole bunch of different uh, sorting options just like you would see at a regular Android store and that's how you get back to the listings okay so let's show you some of the other features you got the since the apps now they you, you get icons for them like your ebooks and then you can add them around here onto your home screens. Same deal. So like I was saying with some of the apps, um, the Nook Friends replaces the um, sharing app from before. This is like a, a new thing. It's kind of like a, a sharing store right within the Nook Color. Kind of like you know those sharing sites that they have for lending ebooks. You can set up a, set up accounts with friends and you can request ebooks, send ebooks. Um, all about the lending feature that is offered with certain ebooks. Another thing they've added is an email client. You will get push notifications down here when you get a new email. So it's not exactly like uh, the Android app, it's like a different app. Um, you can set up with different accounts right here. And this is how it lays out for various different folders. And then let's see here. This is what it looks like when you actually open the email. You can choose to show pictures as usual. And then of course you got you can reply, move to, delete, do all the usual stuff. Um, you can just send emails by tapping that button right there. And that's kind of a look at the email app for the Nook. Uh, it's not too flashy, but it definitely seems to get the job done. Uh, a couple of the other free apps I installed. There's like a calendar app. Um, this is Pulse. Let me show you some stuff in landscape mode. It's kind of more suited for landscape mode. This is a RSS reading app. So the Nook, it, it's not super smooth. I'm used to the new Honeycomb tablets where everything is really, really smooth scrolling. I mean, it's still got a little bit of lag here and there. I'll show you the browser next, but uh, this is kind of a look at the Pulse app. I kind of like this app, actually. You can have your Google feed um, directed into here as well so you can just set it up with your Google feed I found out okay so and a couple other things over here are the apps I installed the, the freebies um, so there's the word of the day so you got your other apps that are already on here like Pandora and the gallery and your contacts and chess like that and like I said you got your email app and there's a good read app for um, um, checking out reviews in the community of ebooks as well. So um, that's a couple of the new things. Let me show you the web browser. So the browser got updated so that it supports Flash now. It's got pinch to zoom and they added that with a, a earlier update actually. And then you got the usual double tap you can go in on the article. So that's sort of the same thing as it has been. Some of the other features that we've got here, like I said, you can um, play fat Flash on it now. I've tried a few different sites some sites like abc.com and fox.com for their episodes I couldn't get those to work very good they're just like totally laggy 
but uh, YouTube seems to work well. I had uh, tried a couple other lower quality videos and they worked well. Let me show you how YouTube lays out here. Again, you're probably going to watch these in portrait mode or landscape mode. So it's kind of tricky sometimes to go full screen. Usually you got your button right here. Some flash videos you have to hold long press on the video and it'll put a little box up there. So yeah, the YouTube videos work pretty well. And then to exit full home screen, you just hit the Nook Home button. A couple other things up here. So then when you go to another window, it will stop playing the video, of course. So uh, one other thing they added here, they added um, desktop view and mobile view. So here in the settings, they did add some new settings in here. Um, just sort of the same old things right here, the JavaScript and cookies. But um, well, um, what I was saying about the new thing here is you can choose to go to mobile browser mode or desktop mouse mode. Uh, a couple of things I did notice, sometimes I still load the mobile site when you have it in browser mode, but um, it does seem to do a better job of loading the full site instead of the mobile site. So that's a couple of different things with the new web browser. For the most part, the reading experience has been left the same. Um, the, there were some reports that it goes in landscape mode, but that's actually not true. I wish they would um, add landscape mode because I prefer to read in landscape mode, but they still have not added that. And the, about the only thing they did add is it's got these page turn animations now. They're not the fancy ones, but it does show you as you turn the page. So everything else is pretty much the same. You know, you've got the same on-screen functions got the um, dictionary, look up uh, notes, highlights, and you got all the different text sizes and such. So the reading experience really hasn't changed much. They've just gone to add the Nook into more of a tablet. And then of course, if you want to, you can install ROMs or hack the Nook, of course. Um, let me show you a ROM really quick. All you gotta do is put an SD card in the back of the Nook. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with Honeycomb running on the Nook. All I did is stuck an SD memory card, micro SD card in the back of it and turned it on. Uh, here you go. So if you've seen my other videos, you know that you can install uh, ROMs on the Nook. You can install different various ones. This one is Honeycomb, so it can be really flashy like the new uh, expensive tablets out there, like the Motorola Zoom. But uh, this one, it's not 100% functional like there is in video and stuff. There are some other better builds uh, for Android 2.2 and 2.3. So basically all you do is um, burn an image onto your memory card. It takes like five minutes, and then you can turn the Nook into a real tablet. I mean, BNN did some good things with that update, but it's still far-fledged from being a real tablet. If you really want some more features, you can just um, get a spare SD card and uh, write an image onto it and, um, you know, put other versions of Android on here like a real tablet. Um, so I'm going to wrap up this review right now. I've already reviewed the Honeycomb. I got another video. I'll put a link for that in the corner. Um, so um, thank you for watching.